Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of the Top 5 Seeds series, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I got a pretty set of unique seeds for you guys. Now, this one accidentally started focusing on villages again, because the seeds that I found, they just, they just lined up kind of perfectly with villages, you know? Like, I've never actually had a couple of these seeds fully like all in or most in one video so before we get into it my name is Minina Gaming you guys can call me Justin if you guys are new to the channel really appreciate a subscribe a like a dislike a comment saying you hate me or you love me it doesn't really matter as long as I get that interaction <laughs> but anyway guys if you guys don't know how it works we are in snapshot let me undo this and undo this 20 w 15 a it's the newest snapshot as of time of recording and if you are new, the seeds will be up on your screen, but they're also posted in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get into seed number one. I think I covered all my bases in this episode. Normally I forget something, but I, I think I did it. I think I got my name, I got the snapshot, and I got how it works. I think that's it. I think that's all we need. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is seed number one. Now, obviously, you spawn kind of in like a weird, <laughs> like look at this little swamp. You know, kind of cute, a little cute little swamp here, but you spawn in like a weird little swamp thing. It'd be awesome if there was a witch hut in it. Ah, uh, train generation, why do you do this? But directly behind you is a full desert village that kind of creeps into the plains biome that you're in so in the in the village is pretty pretty basic village actually you get food a little bit of loot you know just normal but then as you can see in the horizon directly in front of this village is a desert temple now you know what desert temples aren't that aren't that impressive they're not that you know desert temple yeah but we're gonna show you the loot because I got I gotta entice you a little bit to go check this thing out. Let's not blow it up right away, right? Ooh, actually, not. Who needs that book? <laughs> actually, not bad loot at all for a starting point. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, seed number one: village and desert temple. Well, I I think just by the first five seconds of this clip, you can already figure out kind of what the key feature is of this seed. You actually spawn inside the village so you spawn into your new world you're like yeah i got so many plans here on this world and then next thing you know bam you're already here you got food right here you mind that up here you go you got bread you got a bed with two babies jumping on it which is kind of weird cool 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 uh you get a little bit of loot and you get a bell what, what more could you ask for and then that's not the like that is the only structural feature of this seed, but I love the surrounding area. Uh, the mixture between biomes is absolutely insane. I love the fact that you get a plains, you get a taiga, you get a forest, you get plains, you get extreme hills, and everything's kind of tucked away within this little kind of canyon thing. So you actually do get a wide variety of biomes, but they're all within kind of like a hundred blocks and you know, it's gonna burn down eventually, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a unique seed, and it definitely has potential for you guys to, you know, start your world on. Now, if you guys have been longtime viewers of the channel, you guys will know my favorite thing in the world to find when I do these videos was Survival Island Seeds. Now, this is actually a really, really good Survival Island Seed. You get this nice, flat, plateau-type area for you to start building your house on for you to start mining on. It's a nice area. You get a little bit of sand off in the distance, so that's really the only island that's in view distance. And then connected to this island is a nice little island with trees on it. So it's like you get the best of everything you need when you need to, when you want. Not when you need, when you want to start a survival world, you get everything you need with Survival Island here. You get trees, two types, you get a nice flat area to build your house, and look at, look at, no land. Can you see any land? Nope. You could build a neat little resort, you know? It'd be real neat. I, I love this seed, actually. There's nothing insane about it other than the fact that it's quite an impressive survival island. Oh, I really enjoy it. It's so basic, but so nice. <laughs> well, another one of these seeds. I think you can already tell what it is. You spawn in a damn village again. I don't know how I found two of these in one, one video. It took a long time to actually find. But you do spawn directly in a village, you get food, you get villagers, you get everything you could possibly need. And this one has a weird range of uh, of biomes around it, you know? You got yourself, right here, your savanna biome. And then over the hill, from this village, you got yourself another village. Now this one, ladies and gentlemen, is so unique. I love it so much. Uh, the way, I think, 
I don't know if this is considered a scattered savanna or not, but the way the villages generate here, come on. This is a natural shot. How can you even deny that that's so cool? The way the villages, I just love savanna villages. They're, they're insane. They, they're honestly one of the coolest things. I, I cannot disagree with my own statement correct me you're right so you got a neat cave you get two villages right off the bat how i honestly honestly what what more could you need this is actually a really neat seed <laughs> all right last but not least we do have this final seed now let's take a look you know you spawn in this one this one is kind of kind of boring you know no it's not you get a village <laughs> where'd it go where's the village there it is you spawn i i can't say in the village but you spawn pretty damn close to village. So you just gotta wander through the trees a little bit, you know, follow the smoke, follow the smoke, you'll find it. And there you go, you get a nice uh, taiga village. I absolutely love it. It's, it's one of the coolest things ever. Um, well, no, I disagree. A savanna village is the coolest thing ever. But then you get a nice birch forest, which is pretty, pretty boring. Kind of like one of the worst biomes ever introduced. But this seed has something really unique. Now, I wish it worked out a little bit better. Okay, I wish it truly worked out a little bit better. Check out this swamp biome. This swamp biome is lividly massive, okay? It's huge, but look at the water mass. There's barely any land in this swamp. And as you fly around, you start to notice, wow, it's actually really barren. So as we make around this corner, we're gonna fly through, like, obviously a decent chunk of land, but then we're gonna hit this. And if you ever wanted to do like a marsh base where it's like in a swamp, look at this, not a single piece of land. <laughs> like, look at it. It's so cool. Now, I really did wish that a witch hut spawned directly in the middle. It would have been awesome, but unfortunately it didn't. The only witch hut that we have in this swamp is off to the side here. And unfortunately, it is kind of next to land. I don't actually know where it went. There it is right there. It is next to land and it is in a river biome. So it, it, it kind of gets screwed up. So it's not the best witch hut ever. But look at this swamp biome. How can you disagree with how neat this is? Why is it all water? <laughs> oh man, I actually love the hell out of this seed. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Top 5 Seed Series. Now, at the beginning of the video, in my recorder, there's different settings you can set it to. And I was testing out the other day the file size difference between normal and ultra. Uh, the quality was almost unnoticed. There was zero difference between ultra and normal. And the file sizes were quadruple the size. I recorded a 10 second clip and it came out at 250 megabytes. Recorded a 10 second clip here, it came out at like... 40 50 so it's like wow okay cool <laughs> but anyway guys if you guys are new to the channel i like to get a little more close to the core audience that watches to the end of the video so thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it you guys mean the world to me i've been trying to kind of increase the video quality finally figured out what was going on with youtube compression so just 480p looks like trash but it's 480p so i mean what do you expect from 480p <laughs> but anyway guys thank you guys for subscribing hitting the like button commenting even if it's a mean comment even if you're trying to hurt me in my in my i don't know what they say in frozen the stomach if you're trying to hurt my heart how's that what does he say i can't remember <laughs> i'm trying to quote frozen i can't even do it but anyway guys that's gonna do it for this episode if you guys are new hit subscribe if you don't want to hit subscribe that's fine anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace